Hey everyone, welcome back to the 10 Minute Dad Rock Tumbler Challenge Phase 2. In our last video, we tumbled these rocks for 5 days, and this is the result. Stay tuned for more, and remember to like and subscribe if you want me to be your 10 Minute Dad. Here at the Dad Family, we love the outdoors, science, computers, and technology. Join us for some fun. Today we're going to be starting Phase 2. Phase 2 is going to be a new grit and 7 days back in the rock tumbler. But let's take a look and see what we have from phase one. I could get this thing open. There we go. All right. Whoa. It's foamy. It's gray. It looks like cement water. What is, what is this? It smells... Ah, uh, it, it smells like... I don't know. Uh, it smells like rock. It smells like cement. It smells like... Uh, art room. It smells like an art room, like paint. Huh, I wonder if paint is made from minerals, from rocks. I wonder if they can do that. I bet we're onto something there. I bet makeup too. I'm going to take out one of the rocks. It looks like it's coated in paint almost. You wipe it, it feels like uh, makeup. You know, when I was a kid, we used to take these rocks and we'd rub them together in water and we'd uh, whatever color it made, we'd put it all over us, and they used to call it Indian paint. I, I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what we called it. Got another rock out. So here they all are. Oh, that one's really nice. It's like a tiger, tiger stripe pattern. So these have been banging around in there for, with the grit for five days, and every time they bang that grit, it takes a little chunk of the rock off and it polishes it a little bit more and we get a smoother surface. So every additional day, we get a little smoother and a little smoother. And every day we're gonna use, or every, week after week in each phase, we're gonna use a different grit and it's gonna polish it a little finer, a little smoother until we get the end result, which, I mean, at the end of a rock tumbler session, at the end of the month, you can make jewelry out of these things. They're, they're that smooth. They look like glass. That's a really nice green one there. I like that blue. Oh, and this, this uh, tiger, that granite. Looks like pink Himalayan salt with carbon. That one. So it's got this kind of speckled pink speckled pattern. Of course, we have some that look like diamonds, which is, of course, quartz. You can get various shades of quartz if you have other minerals combined with it. So you'll see this one has a purple hue. You can see some with red. I don't have any red right now, but for the most part, they're white. That's quartz. Quartz has some interesting properties. Electrical properties for another day. That's a nice one. We're going to take these rocks, we're going to put them back into our tumbler, and we're going to add our stage two grit. So we can expect this grit to be a little bit finer. Our last grit was very sandy. So we can expect this grit to be a little powderier, I think. Ah, yes. So this grit looks like straight sand. Very fine sand. I can't even say sand. It's more like a metallic, metallic powder. It floats somewhat from surface tension of the water. And it does mix in. And here it is on the table. It's very scratchy. Very metallic. Alright, we'll get that back in. This one, ogre, ogre strength. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get this one in, and we're gonna put this in for seven days. And phase three is gonna be seven days. And phase four, I think it said five days, but we'll probably do it for another seven days. Get a good polish on it. Tighten this up nice. Make sure we don't have a spill in our house. We would want that. Yeah. Spills in the house make 10 minute dead. 
do more cleanup, less science. All right, there we go. We'll see you in seven days for phase 